First year students yeah, at Washington, Washington College have, have the opportunity to participate in one, one of several multi-day experiences just, just before the first year orientation begins. This short film is a glimpse into just, just one, one day of yeah, these pre-orientation trips. Lifetime fitness and recreation trip where we are kayaking on Morgneck Creek to the boathouse. We're doing fishing and uh, rock climbing at a rock gym. I got involved in the trip because uh, I work with uh, I work in the fitness center and do campus recreation. And student affairs asked me to to uh, help out and uh, and run one of the pre orientations. And uh, this is my second year doing it, and it's definitely been a good time. I think it's it's been good. To <laughs> To expose the kids to uh, a lot of where maybe some of the students at the college don't get to see, uh, like the, the Chester River, um, this, a lot of the stuff at Echo Hill. But for what we're doing, um, we dropped uh, all the kayaks and everything down at uh, Morgnet Creek, out 291, and um, and uh, it was a nice, uh, I would say a couple hour uh, kayak uh, back. I don't know if the kids were expecting it to be as long because they were wondering. When's, where's the boathouse? Where's the river? Uh, but uh, so it, it was. It was fun and challenging. I think I'm trying to make it physically challenging, but also fun. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll thank my wife for putting up with me and having to do the trek, uh, the kayaking trek, before uh, just to make sure that everything was uh, was fine. So I like to thank her for putting up with me and forcing her to go on the kayaking trip last weekend. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Right. Say I'm ripped because you are. <laughs> no. Yeah, can we get a shot? I like outdoor stuff, really, but I guess I like kayaking and I like rock climbing. I've done that before, so pretty good, pretty tiring this morning. Like, my arms are pretty beat right now, so. I thought it was a good chance to meet um, some of the new students that are coming in, and since I come from Vermont, I really don't know anyone, so it was a great opportunity, and I really love to be active kayaking. Um, not so much a fan of fishing, but rock climbing I used to do so it was just a great opportunity.
Yeah, I'm uh, Bob Britton. I'm the captain of the Sultana. Uh, I've been working here for five seasons now. Uh, this is our first uh, trip we've done with Washington College, and uh, they have a great time. The students got on yesterday morning, and uh, we've been spending this is our second day on the Chester River. I've been working on boats uh, on the bay since 1980, and uh, it was a chance to uh, work with a great program. The boat say, uh, was built in uh, 2001. It's an exact replica of a British revenue cutter that uh, worked on the Chesapeake Bay in the uh, 1770s. And um, it uh, has been taking out 5,000 students a year since uh, 2001. She draws eight and a half feet, she's 16 foot eight inches wide, she's 53 foot long on the waterline, and uh, 97 feet from tip to tip. This is a very old design, you have to remember that, so we've, we've had her up to about 10 knots, and uh, she'll do about five knots under power. The nine students have been on the boat, uh, one of them is a senior, so he's kind of come out on the boat before, but a lot of them have never seen the Chester River in a brand new to Chester town. Um, We've done a little bit of orientation. We spent yesterday afternoon uh, at Spaniard Neck. It's a little beach on Comedy's Bight. And we fished and sained and explored some of the marshland. Um, last night we had Eddie Conowitz come down and tell ghost stories about the Dalmarva area. Uh, this morning we got underway, we set sail, and we had a, um, two people from Annapolis come over and talk about the um, age of piracy and the uh, history of tattooing on sailors and they ended up uh, putting temporary tattoos on some of the uh, students and crew today. And then this afternoon we went through primary documents, the Sultana. Uh, we have a copy of the original log that was uh, written by Lieutenant Inglis back in 1768 and they were spending the afternoon just going through some different parts of the log, finding out where the boat was, what it was going on in that particular day, who was being punished, what boats they were brought in to look for uh, smuggled goods and what taxes they could impose on the ships coming up the bay. I've always wanted to sail something like this, always. I look at it and it intrigues me. And Since I'm down in the middle of Virginia, I'm not very used to the eastern shore and its individual culture here. Um, so I was hoping to gain an understanding of that. Um, historically, it's a huge region. George Washington helped found the college. This particular trip is once in a lifetime because I figured I looked at all the other trips and you know you can you can do outdoor things all on your own and everything but you're never going to get a chance to sail, sail the Sultana. It's a once in a lifetime thing. We put up sails. Um, we put up I don't remember any names, but we put up a big back one which is like a rudder for the air and that's our uh, how we turn. And then we've got a top sail um, on the front mast um, and that's our propulsion, that's the one that actually catches the wind and pulls us. And so when we raise those, that's just, all of a sudden you start moving and big acceleration. Pretty much. And today, you know, we got to meet a pirate. And that, to me, that was the coolest thing. As captain, I also enjoyed the pleasure of talking on the radio to all the other captains. And so this is a piece I put together called Radio Talk, and this is typical conversation between captains.